Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well today I'm going to read a story about Christmas and it's a rather special story. It's called Harvey Slumfenberger's Christmas Present and it's written and illustrated by John Burningham. And here you can see Father Christmas riding a horse in his pyjamas. So uh, I wonder what's happened there. We'll find out inside and we'll find out where he goes. Beautiful colours. Harvey Slumpenberger's Christmas present. There's Father Christmas again. It was Christmas Eve. Father Christmas and the reindeer were home at last. They were very tired because they had been delivering presents to all the children everywhere. They had something to eat. Then Father Christmas put the reindeer to bed. One of the reindeer said it didn't feel very well. Perhaps it had nibbled something on the way that it shouldn't have. Father Christmas thought that all it needed was a good night's sleep. Finally, Father Christmas was able to go to bed. He put on his pyjamas and was just climbing into bed when he saw something that made him gasp. At the end of his bed lay his sack. Father Christmas could see the shape of one present still inside it. Father Christmas pulled the present out of the sack. The present was Harvey Slumpenberger's. Father Christmas knew all about Harvey Slumpenberger. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger's parents were too poor to buy him presents. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger only ever got one present, and that was the present which Father Christmas brought him. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger lived in a hut at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain, which was far, far away. Father Christmas was very tired. The reindeer were asleep, and one of them was not very well. But Father Christmas knew he had to get the present to Harvey Slumpenberger. Father Christmas put on his coat over his pyjamas. He put on his boots and hat, picked up the sack with Harvey Slumpenberger's present in it and started to walk through the cold winter night to the hut where Harvey Slumpenberger lived at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain which was far, far away. Father Christmas had not gone very far when he met a man with an aeroplane. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Get in my plane, said the man, and I will take you as far as I can. The aeroplane took off and flew through the night sky towards the roly-poly mountain. Heavy snow began to fall. I'm so sorry, Father Christmas, said the man. I cannot fly my aeroplane any further in this snow. The plane bumped and skidded across the ground and finally came to a halt. But if you go to the garage that lies over the hill, there is a man with a jeep. Perhaps he can help you. Father Christmas set off through the snow. He went over the hill to the garage where there was a man with a jeep. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Climb in my jeep, said the man, and I will take you as far as I can. The jeep bounced and spun across the fields and down the road towards the Roly-Poly Mountain.
But then the jeep skidded and crashed through the fence and into a tree. Father Christmas was sent tumbling into the snow. I'm so sorry, Father Christmas, said the man. I can take you no further. But if you go down the hill and across the river, there is a boy with a motorbike. Perhaps the boy can help you. Father Christmas went down the hill and across the river and met the boy with the motorbike. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumfenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the roly-poly mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. We'll go on my motorbike, said the boy. I will take you as far as I can. The motorbike roared off along the road towards the roly-poly mountain. There they go. Oh dear. But they had not gone very far before the motorbike slid on some ice and they both fell off. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the boy. The front of my bike is all twisted and I can take you no further. But if you go across the valley and into the woods, there is a girl who has skis. Perhaps she can help you. Father Christmas went across the valley and into the woods where he found the girl with the skis. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the roly-poly mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Stand on the back of my skis, said the girl, and I will take you as far as I can towards the roly-poly mountain. And you can see there's Father Christmas and the girl is helping him not to fall off. She's holding him. They had not gone very far when the skis broke with a crack and they both tumbled into the snow. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the girl. My skis are broken and I can take you no further. But if you go up the slope and down onto the plain, you will be near the bottom of the roly-poly mountain, where there is a climber with a rope. Perhaps he can help you. Father Christmas went up the slope and down onto the plain, where he found the climber with the rope. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the roly-poly mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Hold on to my rope, said the climber, and I will take you as far as I can up the roly-poly mountain. Off they went. There's the rope. Oh dear. They had not climbed very far when the rope broke and Father Christmas nearly fell off the roly-poly mountain. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the climber. My rope is broken, and I cannot climb any higher. But if you carry on up that cliff and over those boulders, you will see a little hut at the top, and that is the hut where Harvey Slumpenberger lives. Father Christmas carried on up the cliff and over the boulders and finally arrived at the hut where Harvey Slumpenberger lived. There it is. Father Christmas climbed onto the roof and down the chimney and put the present in Harvey Slumpenberger's stocking. Then Father Christmas set off on the long journey home. He used lots of things. Horses, scooters, bicycle, zip wire, rowing boat, helicopter, sledge, hot air balloon, another bicycle, ice skates, roller skates, and on the back, 
of a train. And this is Father Christmas. And this is where he lives. In the North Pole. Father Christmas checked that the reindeer were all right and tucked up in bed. And as the sun began to rise on Christmas morning, Father Christmas climbed into bed and was soon fast asleep. In the hut at the top of the roly-poly mountain, which is far, far away, a little boy whose name was Harvey Slumpenberger reached for the stocking on the end of his bed and took out his present. I wonder what it was. Well, you could guess what it might be. More beautiful colours. Some other books for us to read. And there's the back cover with Harvey's hut at the top of the roly-poly mountain. There's the back and front cover, and there's the front of a super story about Father Christmas and Harvey Slumpenberger's Christmas present. I hope you enjoyed the book. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>